Catherine, there's a great variety uh, in your works of art. Is there any one of the paintings you'd say is typical of your work? Well, yeah, especially this one, though, because I guess it portrays um, the feminine part of a woman and the fact that she can also be have her own decisions. She has her own decisions to make. She's she's like her, her own man. She she. She has um, she's she's a person of her own, an individual that you can't just um, sideline to to any side you just want to her. Personally, this just shows the fact that women could be victorious, women could actually do what they want to do, achieve things, and be great. But I don't just I just don't want to have my paintings expressing femininity. Just only femininity, but it should also portray different aspects of life and the fact that okay, everybody, not just a woman, can be victorious. I like to be positive in thinking. Most of all my paintings are positive, except for that one, which is um, the um, unhappy bee vibe. But to an extent, it shows it's also positive because it also shows that she. She had. She knows what is right. She knows what she wants to do. But well, this is a mere duty, and she's she's just following it up. Um, but this is like it goes back to history. That's my painting on Amina of Zaria. She's um she was a great warrior that existed in um 1533 to 1610, and I haven't really heard of any other female. Um, warrior apart from Amina but someone told me about Zina or something but she 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 was able to conquer most of the the trade zones around Zaria and she she expanded the, the territory of Zaria to such an extent that they were in, uh, able to make a lot of income and for a woman to do such a thing at that period of time it's something really great and it's something that should be remembered because most of most of the African history is forgotten. 